effort in my sexy, succulent subscribers. What do you mean it's only two hours until midnight and this daily vlog can technically not be considered to come out today? What do you mean? I mean, it's still technically today. Damn, it's dark in here. But I've had like the longest shit. I've had like the longest day ever, yo. I still feel horrible. And I just found out that, oh my God, that we could be kicked out of this house sometime, anytime between February 1st and June. So you just imagine, I mean, I've been packing all day and I still feel horrible. So I've taken like at least 53 naps throughout the day and oh my God. And I mean, I guess it's good because the way they're doing it, you know, our credit isn't going, well, my credit isn't going to suffer for us getting out of this house. But anyway, enough of that legal mumbo jumbo. So that just put a huge stress on us because I have to get my stuff out of here. You know, anytime, bet anytime between February 1st and June, are you serious? That's like a huge window. So I could be packing for no reason. And if I don't pack, they can say, okay, you got to get out today on February 1st. And I'll be, so I just sucked it up and I just got everything that I could in boxes and I mean there's still some clothes out because you know I don't know how long I'm going to be here honestly so I can be here anywhere from like two weeks to a few months so that's that's really the, anyway but other than that my day was okay that's literally all I've been doing all day is uh getting stuff together and trying to see if I can get like the best the best bundle for my new apartment complex like, internet wise like internet and cable and all this stuff because i want to have internet as soon as i move in so i can keep uploading videos without using up too much of my data and whatnot but um yeah I'm, i feel so fucking exhausted man I, I i really didn't feel like making this video today i'm i'm sorry guys not many jokes in this one but i mean this is the life of jb right now i promise it's not always this boring boring i promise it's not but anyway let's go ahead and get these questions so i so I can just lay down and dream about some tits or something. Now, re, re, I, I have to get you on Skype or something, or something, so I can hear you pronounce your name because I don't want to keep calling you re because re isn't your name. But she come, she came up with yet another awesome question. I'm not sure what it is with this woman, but she's coming up with the most delicious questions now. She asks if I can wake up in anyone's body, and uh, yeah, if I can wake up tomorrow with anyone's in anyone's body, what would I do, and who would it be? Personally, it would be Morgan Freeman. Why? One, because he's rich and I can do whatever the fuck I want, and two, do you not hear the dude's voice, man? Morgan Freeman is a legend. I would narrate my whole life. I would narrate what I'm doing. I would narrate going to the bathroom, I would narrate eating some cereal. This dude's voice, man, is on some godly stuff. That's probably why he played God in the movie. And um, U Uzumaki Naruto, no, Naruto Uzumaki, I'm sorry. He asked me if I could fuck any girl from any anime, who would it be? Now, damn, I didn't even give this any thought. Okay. I would have to say Juvia from Fairy Tale. I mean, she's got the boobs, but I mean, she's just a hilarious character, and she's one of those characters that, you know, if you're not into Fairy Tale, she basically does everything she can for someone, for this boy that she likes, Gray. You know, if you know Fairy Tale, this seems kind of stupid that I'm explaining this, but. She is infatuated with this guy and just seeing what she would do for her man, even though he seems to not dig her at the moment, is just, I don't know, that's just the kind of girl I like, the one that will always do whatever for her man. And plus, I mean, plus, she could turn into water. Do you know how wet that shit would be, boy? I mean, you know, little kids cover your ears, but that shit would be wet. Oh my God, that would be like the greatest sex ever. But, yeah, Juvia is awesome. Love her personality, love her goofiness, love her jealousy. As weird as that sounds, Juvia Lockster is an awesome female. And I had another one. I had one more question I wanted to get out of the way before I cut you guys off. But I cannot. Hmm. Oh, yeah. DZ Legend. There's another one. No, 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 no. 
Well, I'll get his out of the way since I already said his name. I'm going to do four questions because I forgot this other guy's question. But anyway, DZ Legend asks, when did you first up come close and personal? First up come close and personal with a nice pair of succulent boobies is his exact word. So, meaning, when was my first time getting some boobs? Now, <laughs> um, I have to say I was in the 12th grade. I, I should actually save that for a story time because it's very, very interesting and awkward. I mean, I, yeah, I, I was 12 years old. Did I just say 12th grade? I meant to say 12 year old if I did. But yeah, it's a very, very awkward story. I'll actually make that a whole video because that's a very, very interesting. <laughs> that was some interesting shit, yo. And last one, uh, Old Dirty Chimpanzee. This fucking amazing name, Old Dirty Chimpanzee. Wow. But anyway, his question is, would you rather go to the future to see your grandchildren or great-grandchildren or go to the past to see your ancestors? Now, I believe I answered this question in the comments. I saw it, just in case uh, he didn't. I would say I would rather my ancestors because there is a possibility that I can meet my great grandchildren in my natural life it doesn't happen often but i was alive when i met my great grandmother it wasn't that long i was still young but they got to see me so that's all that counts so i mean so yeah like, like i said i would rather go back and meet my ancestors the ones that are already gone that i could never you know in this life have a chance to talk to because there's a slim chance that I could meet my great grandchildren. But anyway, I'm sorry for this rushed through vlog. Like I, I intentionally ran through the shit because I just want to lay down. It's been a, a long day, but I'll get back to some uh, more entertainment for you guys. Some, some more jokes. Why did I just cut this light off when I was about to come right back in here? I don't know. But anyway, if you're a guy, wrap it up. If you're a girl, shake your tits. This has been JB from JB's Daily. Have a good night. Give me a kiss. Mwah.